Three newly discovered green comets are now gracing the skies, visible from Earth with the aid of binoculars or a modest telescope, while a fourth, an interstellar traveler from beyond our solar system, is expected to reappear soon. Each of these icy wanderers glows with an ethereal emerald hue, a light born not from magic but from chemistry. The color comes from diatomic carbon, C2, molecules in the comet's coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding its frozen core. When sunlight breaks apart these carbon molecules, they emit a striking green fluorescence that envelops the comet's fed like a living aura. The exact intensity of that glow depends on the comet's unique chemical fingerprint, a reflection of its ancient origin and the primordial materials it has carried across the solar system for millions of years. It began quietly, as many astronomical stories do, a faint point of light on a telescope image, noticed by a software algorithm designed to spot what the human eye might miss. In early 2025, the automated systems at the Mount Lemmon Observatory in Arizona flagged a subtle moving object. Astronomers verified the sighting, and soon a new comet earned its name, C-2025 A6 Lemmon. It wasn't unusual in itself, comets are found every year, but what followed over the next few months left astronomers reeling. Two more long-period comets, both green, both remarkably bright, were discovered in quick succession. C-2025 R2 Swan, detected by the SOHO spacecraft's Solar Wind Anisotropies instrument, and C-2025 K1 Atlas, picked up by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii. Each new discovery carried its own excitement, but taken together, the pattern was undeniable. Three new comets, all emerald in hue, all heading roughly sunward, and all discovered within the same year. It was the sort of cosmic coincidence that fuels both scientific wonder and viral speculation. Within weeks, the internet buzzed with headlines predicting triple green comets approaching Earth, and even the occasional conspiracy-tinted video claiming NASA was hiding something. Yet for scientists, the fascination wasn't fear, but curiosity. The universe had handed them a rare chance to study three different icy wanderers making their close approaches in the same season. The green glow that made these comets so visually striking was not, as some tabloids hinted, an omen or alien signature. Instead, it was a beautiful byproduct of chemistry. When sunlight strikes a comet's coma, the shroud of gas and dust surrounding its frozen core, molecules of C2 and cyanogen are broken apart and excited, releasing a vivid green light. It's an effect that can only occur in the thin exosphere of the comet itself, never reaching the tail or space beyond, which is why the comet's core gleams green while its tail fades to white or blue. As one astrophysicist put it, the green color is chemistry meeting sunlight, the closest thing to watching an atom sing. By late summer 2025, NASA, ESA, and several university observatories were all tracking the trio. C-2025 A6 Lemon was first in line, expected to make its closest approach to the sun on November 8th skimming through the inner solar system in a wide arc that would take it within about 0.9 AU of Earth. Early observations suggested it might reach magnitude 5 or better, dim but potentially visible to the naked eye from dark sky locations. Astronomers described it as a dynamic long-period comet, likely returning after a thousand-year orbit, a frozen messenger from the Oort cloud. Next came C-2025 R2 Swan, the most unexpected of the three. The Swan instrument aboard SOHO wasn't even designed to hunt comets. It monitors hydrogen in the solar wind, but its cameras frequently catch icy interlopers glowing near the sun. In September, Swan's automated scans revealed a rapidly brightening point of light that matched no known object. Follow-up ground observations confirmed a new comet, heading toward perihelion with a projected close pass to Earth in late October 2025, at about 0.26 AU, or roughly 39 million kilometers. That's close enough for skywatchers to glimpse it alongside the Orionid meteor shower, 
an alignment that had astrophotographers giddy with anticipation. Meanwhile, the third player in this celestial trio, C2025 K1 Atlas, remained the quietest but most enigmatic. Discovered earlier in the year by the Atlas Survey, a network of telescopes built precisely to detect near-Earth objects that could pose impact risks, K1 appeared faint, slow-moving, and distant. Its orbit was steeply inclined, slicing through the plane of the solar system at an unusual angle. Astronomers calculated that it wouldn't come especially close to Earth, yet its path intersected that of the other two comets in the general vicinity of the inner planets. To poetic observers, it felt as though the cosmos were staging a triad, a synchronized dance of icy wanderers under the pale green glow of chemistry and sunlight. For NASA, the sudden surge of comet activity offered both opportunity and challenge. The agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory began issuing frequent trajectory updates, refining orbital parameters daily as new observations came in. The public's fascination was immediate. Every time a new image or model was released, social media erupted with speculation. Some posts claimed the comets were heading straight for Earth. Others suggested magnetic disturbances or cosmic alignments. The truth was far less apocalyptic, but no less intriguing. The comet's paths, while bringing them into the general vicinity of Earth's orbit, posed no collision threat whatsoever. Yet the clustering of three bright green comets in a single year, all visible in the same sky, was an astronomical rarity worth every bit of attention. By October, as nights grew longer in the northern hemisphere, telescopes from Chile to Arizona began streaming back spectacular imagery. Lemon's coma stretched hundreds of thousands of kilometers across, glowing with an inner emerald flame. Swan's tail extended like a luminous spear, sharply etched against the blackness of space. Even Atlas, faint and remote, presented a delicate structure of jets and outgassing fans, hinting at complex internal activity. Amateur astronomers compared the scene to a triple symphony in green, a rare alignment that hadn't occurred in recorded history. Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Leila Nouri described the moment vividly in a televised interview. We're witnessing the solar system's memory unfurling in real time. These comets were frozen long before humans existed. Now they've returned carrying the chemistry of our beginnings. Her team, working with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, used spectrographic data from LEMON to analyze isotopic ratios of carbon and nitrogen, searching for signatures that might link it to earlier comets like Neowise or Lovejoy. The results, while preliminary, suggested Lemon had unusually high levels of CN gas, a clue that its surface might contain complex organic compounds. While scientists celebrated the data, online discussions spiraled in stranger directions. A wave of viral posts declared that NASA had gone silent after detecting anomalous movement in one of the comets, particularly 3I-ATLS, the interstellar object discovered earlier in the year, a completely separate body unrelated to the three green comets. Misinterpretations blurred the line between fact and fiction, with clickbait headlines proclaiming, NASA shuts down as comet nears Mars, or Harvard warns of impact threat. In reality, 3I-ATLS, designated as the third known interstellar object after Oumuamua and 2I-Borisov, was on a hyperbolic trajectory passing near Mars' orbit, but far from any collision path. NASA hadn't shut down, it had simply issued a routine trajectory bulletin. Still, the coincidence was irresistible to storytellers. Three green comets from our solar system and one rogue interstellar comet, all in the same year, was enough to send imaginations into overdrive. As one astronomer joked, the universe has a sense of drama. As the comets approached their peak brightness in mid-October, skywatchers across the globe turned their gaze upward. In the deserts of Chile, where the air is thin and still, photographers captured long-exposure images showing lemon and swan glowing together on the same night as the Orionid meteor streaked overhead. In rural Australia, where Swan's southern trajectory made it particularly visible, families gathered before dawn to see the ghostly green arc of its tail rising over the horizon. Online, the hashtags Green Comet Trio and Comet Lemon 2025 trended for days. The tone shifted from alarm to awe. 
NASA's social media accounts joined in, posting high-resolution images from the Hubble Space Telescope and the NEWISE Infrared Observatory. Each photo revealed new details, plumes of vapor venting from fissures, jets of carbon dust spiraling outward, and shockwaves rippling through the comas. The agency's public affairs team emphasized that these comets were safe to watch and scientifically invaluable. Every comet we study, NASA stated, helps us understand how Earth itself came to be. Their time capsules from the solar system's formation 4.6 billion years ago. In classrooms and planetariums, educators use the trio as a teaching moment. Comets are primordial leftovers composed of ice, rock, and organic molecules, the ingredients that once seeded young planets with water and carbon-based compounds. The green comets of 2025 reminded the world that space isn't static, it's alive, constantly delivering material that connects us to cosmic origins. When people looked up that October, they weren't just seeing icy rocks, they were witnessing the echoes of creation itself. Still, the rare convergence stirred a deeper conversation within the scientific community. Could the appearance of multiple comets within a short span hint at a gravitational trigger, perhaps linked to Jupiter's resonances or perturbations in the outer Oort cloud? Dynamical models from the European Space Agency's Comet Group suggested that long-period comets often arrive in clusters following subtle gravitational nudges, such as when a massive planet or even a passing star disturbs the distant reservoir of icy bodies at the solar system's edge. Statistically, having three visible comets in a single year isn't impossible, but it's rare enough to make dynamicists sit up and run their simulations twice. By late November, C-2025 A6 Lemon had rounded the sun and begun its outbound journey, fading slowly as it receded into the outer solar system. Swan lingered a little longer in the dawn sky, its green glow softening to pale blue as its gases dissipated. Atlas, distant and faint, was already slipping from view. But for months afterward, the data continued to flow, terabytes of imagery, spectra, and positional measurements archived by NASA's planetary data system. Researchers would spend years analyzing them, extracting the ratios of isotopes, mapping out dust grain sizes, and reconstructing the jets that drove each comet's evolution. Each measurement offered another clue to the solar system's ancient chemistry. In retrospect, the Three Green Comets event of 2025 became one of those astronomical milestones that bridged science and culture, a moment when the night sky captured the world's collective imagination. For scientists, it was a convergence of data. For storytellers, it was a cosmic trilogy. For the public, it was a reminder that even in an age of screens and satellites, the heavens can still surprise us. As the final glow of lemon faded beyond the orbit of Jupiter, Dr. Nori summed up the sentiment that had driven months of observation and wonder. When people hear that NASA is on alert, they imagine danger. But in reality, what we're alert to is beauty, the kind that takes a hundred thousand years to circle back and find us. Far from being harbingers of doom, the green comets of 2025 became symbols of continuity, showing that the same processes that once shaped the early Earth still play out silently in the darkness above. Long after the hashtags vanished and the viral videos lost their novelty, the data remained, cold, precise, and profound. And somewhere in the deep, cold reaches beyond Neptune, more comets are waiting for their turn, spinning slowly in the cosmic dark, biding their time until sunlight wakes them once again.